So I'm just going to make a quick little video about this 12 inch Craftsman Atlas lathe that I got for 300 bucks um, about a year ago now. Uh, I just wanted to show some of the little modifications I did that made this thing perform really well. Harbor Freight, one horsepower motor. Um, I think it was a little over a hundred dollars, I can't remember. Uh, I made this tool post, which was a lot of time to make, but to me it was time well spent. And also added a drum switch because originally this one did not have forward and reverse. This is the original switch. Um, I also did 24 tooth upgrade which slows down your carriage speed so there's a lot of videos out there explaining this but this gear is normally down here so this slide gear is normally down here and inside here is a 24 tooth uh, gear that I got off of eBay for I think it was $25 um, when you do that, all that does is it split your speeds in half. So instead of 0.42 thou per revolution, you're getting, instead of four thousandths per revolution, you're getting two thousands per revolution. So the carriage moves a lot slower, which gives you a lot better surface finish. Um, let me see. Like this. Pretty nice surface finish. It's dirty right now, but really nice surface finish. Not so much on that side. But that side, I don't think I finished this side yet. I think I was just rough cutting this. This is for a milling attachment that I'm making if I ever get around to doing it. I also bought a 8 inch four jaw, independent four jaw. Uh, actually, my fiance got it for me for Christmas, which was, I think it was 200 bucks shipped off of Amazon, but it wasn't from Amazon. So you had to pay for shipping on it but like I said I paid 300 bucks for this it came with some all kinds of little tooling and stuff that the guy had given me some of this stuff I've had from my other lathe but a lot of a lot of this tooling high-speed steel stuff some braised carbide uh, a couple of center drills stuff like that um, some <clears throat> I got some brown and sharp I think these are they're not in the best condition but this one this one and this one, the guy threw in with it. What else did I get from him? Not that one. I think this other one. Not that one. I know there's another one somewhere else that he gave me with it. Uh, what else did I get from him? I can't recall what else I got from him. 
live center. Yeah, I got live center, a bunch of dead centers. Uh, this is Morse 3 to Morse 2 for the headstock. Soft brass chuck. This chuck, this other chuck I had, this I had, uh, the Atlas lathe operation and machinist tables book also came with this machine, which is an awesome book that has everything in there. And just to put the information out there, at least how my machine is set up. That 8 inch chuck runs pretty damn good on this 12 inch lathe. It's, I thought it was going to be too big because it's pretty heavy. I think it's like 40 something pounds that thing. Um, I might be wrong about that. But it runs pretty good on there. And that's about it. I mean for the most part it's in decent shape there's a little bit of wear in there I have new felts that I'm getting ready to change right now and cleaning it up because it hasn't been cleaned up in quite a while but there's not too much wear in it you're not gonna be able to really see that but there was like a little nick in here somewhere I don't know where it is but for the most part, it's in really good shape. A couple little nicks in here. This, I don't know what that's from. You can barely feel it, whatever it is. But nothing rides on there anyway. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.